Okay, guys, are you ready? We are going to set our NA10 instance on AWS. So, first of all, just go to AWS and then we just sign in to the console. Let's enter the credentials and, of course, MFA, very important. Okay, we're in. So, next thing, we are going to the EC2. Now, let's go under instances, let's go to instances. And then launch instance. Okay, we'll give it a name and again course. And from the application and OS images, we will take the Ubuntu. You can see that it is a free tier eligible. So if you just created your AWS account, then you can be on the free tier and even get 720 hours free each month, which means that you are not paying for the instance free. Okay, let's see what we have here. That's totally fine. We will stick with the T2 Micro, which also is a free tier eligible. And let's create a keeper name. And we'll just stick with RSA and PM and call it also any then course. Demo. Demo. Okay, and you have the private key downloaded to your local machine. Next thing is network settings. Let's just create security group, allow SSH traffic, traffic, allow HTTPS traffic from the internet, and that's it. We don't want to allow HTTP traffic from now. Okay. And let's just create a 30 gigabyte. And that's it. You're ready. You can just launch your instance. Let's launch it then. Can take up a few minutes. Okay. Our instance state is now running, so we can just connect to it. I'll show you in a minute how to do it from your terminal, but for that purpose, let's just connect to the instance. Just go to connect, connect using EC2 instance connect, and then connect. It is now establishing the connection. All right, we're in. So now let's just get the instructions. Copy to clipboard and then just install that. We'll wait a few seconds until it's finished. Okay. Now we are finished. Let's go to the next thing. Let's check our Docker and Docker Compose versions. So, what do we see here? Okay, Docker Compose and Docker. Okay, next thing, we are going to create the .env file. So, for this to happen, let's just go and type none, none dot if we let's copy clipboard. Now let's close it with command X, then yes, then okay. Next thing we are going to create the local files directory. Then we create the Docker Compose file. So now we can nano docker compose at yaml and 
let's copy it from here and paste and delete. Okay, now we are ready. Let's just go and grab our instance IP. We can find it here. Public IP. Let's copy it. Let's go to our domain system and let's create the subdomain. So instance it's n8n and, and this is the tree <coughs> and we're creating an a record add record okay it's here so we are all ready to just build the docker compose so now just sudo docker compose up dash And it's building in the instance, it can take a few seconds. Okay, and now it is done. So let's just go to our domain name and see if it's up and running. Let's go. And now we are ready. So, email, first name, last name and just generate a password okay next we are done skip okay then you have your instance 